Organization sounding the alarm on a new and dangerous COVID-19 strain. It is spreading fast from South Africa. This comes as health experts worldwide are now working to try and stop it. 25 News reporter Alicia Nespreto has more. The city of Waco is still on the downswing for COVID-19 cases after hitting a record high in early September. But as cases are dropping locally, a new variant is causing alarm internationally. It seems to be spreading in a, at a reasonably rapid rate in the sense of when they do test positivity, they're seeing that it's a bit more widespread in South Africa than was originally felt a couple of days ago. It is unclear where the Omicron variant originated, but experts believe it is causing a concerning spike in Ha Tang, South Africa. The country was seeing an average of 200 cases per day for weeks. But according to the Associated Press, that number was up to 2,465 on Thursday. Now experts are working to see if the new variant is to blame. We're finding more about it, and literally it's something that in real time we're learning more and more about. Several countries in Europe were the first to announce a travel ban out of South Africa. The United States following suit a few hours later, with President Joe Biden tweeting, Until we have more information, I am ordering air travel restrictions from South Africa and seven other countries. End quote. With such limited knowledge about this new variant, it is expected to take a few weeks to learn how effective the vaccines will be against it. Local health experts say they are keeping an eye on that data. We definitely have to pay attention to how this is going to play out in terms of vaccine resistance, as that would obviously be, you know, something very serious. Health officials still encourage getting the vaccine and the boosters in the meantime. And after several months, people, particularly the elderly, but across the board in the age group, you have a diminution in protection over several months, which is the reason why we're recommending that everyone 18 years or older who has received the vaccine get the booster. If you're not comfortable or unable to get vaccinated, health experts still stress that you should wear your mask and keep your distance from those at high risk. In Waco, Alicia Nespreto, 25 News.